You've probably come to this video because you're thinking about your marketing strategy. I'm Chris Ashworth, founder of Competitive Advantage, and in this video, I'm going to give you a few suggestions to help with that planning process. Firstly, let's think about your markets. A well-used tool for this is Ansos Matrix. He first developed it 60 years ago, but it is still as relevant today as it was then. Ansof defined four areas of growth for a company to focus on. For existing products and markets, you can stay in safe territory with the products and customers you already know. Either defend or increase market share. Consider how you can encourage your existing customers to increase their usage, perhaps at the expense of competitor products. The vulnerability here is if there is a new market entrant, perhaps with a cheaper product or a product which does things better or in a more cost effective manner. In the construction industry, push fit plumbing fittings are a good example of this. They were introduced about 20 years ago and have replaced uh, compression and solder joints, which were the traditional market leaders before that. It's important to be constantly researching the market to know what your customers think of your company and of your competitors. This will help you to identify changes in competition at an early stage. Of course, one response to the risk of alternative products entering the market is to develop and launch them yourself. Companies tend to be nervous of killing the cash cow, but if you don't do it, someone else will. It's important to be regularly gaining feedback from customers and non-customers concerning the challenges they face new products they are considering, and generally getting ideas for new product development. But don't expect your customers to tell you what they want. They probably don't see the solution, just the problem. You need to understand their issues and then think of solutions. It might be that it's not a replacement for your existing product, but something complementary that can be sold alongside. It may be that your existing products have an application in a new market, either overseas or in a sector you currently don't target. Again, research can help identify sectors where customers might already be using your products without you realizing it. Finally, there is diversification into new market sectors with new products, perhaps through acquisition, if not new product development. Before committing to an investment of this nature, it is important to fully understand the market, its needs and expectations. And if it is an acquisition, what are the existing perceptions of the business business you plan to acquire. Although I've talked about this as if it were an annual process, the WISE business is constantly reviewing the situation, following a con constant process of review. This is particularly important as the construction market recovers, changing the opportunities represented by the different sectors, with changes in regulations and demand for sustainable products, for example, changing the trading environment. There are many forms of research. If you want uh, to talk about the, your marketing strategy or the research you might need to conduct, why not give us a call or visit our website and read some of our blog articles.